At this conference I was just at, the ECHO conference in Toronto, <clears throat> one of the conversations that came up fairly frequently was cloud computing. Cloud computing, if I understand correctly, is having all your applications on the World Wide Web, not actually having anything reside on a terminal of any sort. So it doesn't necessarily have to be on your desktop, it doesn't necessarily have to be on your handheld, it doesn't necessarily have to be on your laptop. It can be accessed from any one of those and, ex and it exists out there in the World Wide Web as a cloud, which is a kind of a neat concept and the one company that is sort of pushing this ahead more than any other one at the moment is Google with Apple very close behind and Microsoft playing catch up. It's an interesting concept and is one that I think will work very well for virtual schools in the future simply because we don't have to worry about where the actual material resides. I'm interested to see if we ever come up with a virtual school and not have a learning management system that is that resides on a server but will actually reside out there as a cloud. I would be interested to see if anybody is venturing down that path. If anybody knows of anything, let me know. At this last conference I was at, there was a representative there from Google who had just gotten back from Japan and started to talk briefly about some of the uses for the iPhone and some of the newer phones that are coming out. And one of the things he was talking about is how they are using them in the classroom and how they're using them to take attendance. A student would walk up and actually, with their camera on their phone, register for the class and have all the class material pushed to their phone so that they would have access to it on their phone as the class goes along. They were doing class surveys, they were doing virtual field trips through their phone, and there's many different applications that are sort of being developed for the use of the phone in an educational scenario. Unfortunately, here in Canada and the United States, we're still banning phones within the classroom because we find them to be a distraction rather than using them as an actual teaching tool. I think it'll be interesting to see where Japan goes in the future. Some of the other uh, locations around the world because of the uh, power of the iPhone and the ability for it to compute and search the World Wide Web since it has actually hit the market. This uh, representative from Google said that there's a 55% um, increase in the amount of surfing of the World Wide Web via the phone and also that most of the time that's spent on the phone isn't actually using the phone as a phone. They're using it for other applications. So that's fairly exciting. So in some of the places like Africa, they're just bypassing the use of the computer and going directly to the phone application. So I think that's going to be exciting uh, in the future as well. People always talk about how much the internet has impact the way we do things in our life now. Imagine where we're going to be five years from now. With such things as Wi-Fi towers that will cover 30 miles, imagine what we were, will be capable of doing five years from now. We'll have a network that will cover 90% of this planet. We will be able to access information from anywhere we're at. The tools that we'll use to access that information, the tools that we use and the way they interact with that network will be so cool. The clothes that we wear could have computer chips built into them so that it speaks to the World Wide Web and makes the World Wide Web respond to us based on what we're wearing tools that we use will be able to interface with the World Wide Web and will be able to tell us such things. The example that Steve Downs once told us was about a shovel. When you dig the shovel into the ground it actually analyzes the soil and tells you what nutrients you're missing and what you need in the soil to grow a bed of roses. Simply because it will be able to interface with all the information that is available to you out there on how to grow roses. This will be a very exciting time in the next five years because of our ability to access that information. How is that going to change schools? How is that going to change what we teach in school? Will it be important for you to know anything at all when you can recall or pull information down in a second from the World Wide Web? Will it be important for you to memorize any facts at all or just how to actually access them? It's going to be an exciting five years.